Hey everybody, Abolitionist Jay here. It's, uh, oh crap, I think it's the 7th now. Yeah, it's, uh, the beginning of our second week out here on the road now, because it's Thursday, June 7th, 2018. I, uh, I'll have another vlog, um, at some point, although actually, I shouldn't say that. I don't even know when I'm going to get to put this one up, because I haven't put the other two separate videos I should recorded yesterday up yet, but this will get up at some point, um, I did try, try to record a video from another dog park yesterday so we could get a little shot of murder dog and stuff, and we were rudely interrupted by some asshole who just couldn't dare to let his little yappy Jack Russell anywhere near my vicious, vicious beast, <sighs> it's the reason I don't usually go to that park, um, it was just because we were passing through um, we were like really close by and nobody was there so I figured we'd stop and then of course somebody showed up anyway so this morning it's uh, pretty early it's like 7 30 or so well actually that's 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 late for us what am I talking about we're usually up by quarter to six six o'clock we slept in a little bit today we slept in until like seven and, uh we are uh we were at the marina again last night so we were at the dog park right now that's with that's in the marina well in the park that the marina is, is in rather and uh, I'll show you guys. Hey, there's Murder Dog. Hey, Murder Dog. What's up, puppy girl? Do we have a good night? Yeah. Yeah, there's nobody here, but you can see this park. I I'm a fan of this park. This is, uh, again, this is at Wontaw Park in uh, Nassau County. And, uh,. <clears throat> They have this pretty nice dog park where it's, uh, you know, they got the Astro Turf down here. Now, years ago, I haven't been to this place in years. This place used to have, uh, it was just dirt. So dogs would come here and have fun, but they would get messy as hell. Um, and the other park, which is actually just, you know, not even a quarter of a mile down the road, where we got so rudely interrupted yesterday, uh, was the one that I used to go to because it was kept in nicer condition. And it was also in walking distance from uh, my grandmother's house when I used to live there. But the people over there are just horrible. Like, there's a there's this clique of people who think they run the place. And they look down on any, on any uh, you know, newcomers. Um, they're very nasty. They, uh, they demand that you follow the rules, um, even if uh, the, you, the breaking of those rules is not actually affecting anybody. Um, years ago, I got into, a, I got into an argument with one idiot down there who uh, who overheard me talking to somebody else about the fact that uh, I was a pet sitter and that the dogs I had with me weren't mine, they were my clients. And this guy freaked out and started screaming at me about how dare I do that and how, uh, how I put their dogs at risk and, you know, if they're not my dogs, how could I possibly know them that well and, you know, what blah, blah, blah. And I said, excuse me, sir, I'll be right back. And I calmly walked out to my car and I grabbed a folder and inside that folder were the vaccination records and vet records of every one of the dogs I had with me. And I brought, I brought, I came back to the dog run and I held out the uh, folder. I said, here is every one of their files. Now let me see yours for your dog. And the guy just looked at me dumbfounded. And I said, oh, you don't carry all that information on you? How the fuck can I trust that you actually vaccinated your dog, sir? I believe you're actually putting my dogs at risk. This guy was so flummoxed that he stormed off and never wanted to speak to me again, and I just laughed and laughed. And the woman I had been talking to at the time laughed and laughed, and once he walked away, she told me that, yeah, that guy's a dick. Thinks he owns the place. So anyway, a lot of that goes on down there, so that's why I don't go. I try not to go to that place. Um, the people at this park were always much nicer. The dogs were, you know, everybody always got along much better. Everybody was a lot cooler about stuff. People were always willing to help each other out, and, uh, you know not let their dogs beat the hell out of one another, um, which is usually the case. You know, that, like, that was another problem I had with that other park is you would, you would walk by the dog park and you'd see a bunch of dogs in a corner beating the hell out of one dog, and then the other side of the dog park, the owners were all sitting in a corner drinking coffee, not paying attention to their animals. Here at Wontaw, people sit, you know, we said there's benches and stuff, and, you know, they got a nice little setup, but everybody pays attention to their dogs, and everybody watches out for everybody else's dogs. And it's, uh, it's a much nicer community, so that's why we, uh, we prefer to hang out here, and especially now that they've made it so much nicer with the astroturfing and stuff. 
Um, granted, of course, this is tax money that paid for all this, but you know what? This is, as far as I'm concerned, if you're going to waste tax money, you could do a lot worse than this. So that's where we're at right now. And, uh, you know, so like I said, it's early in the morning, so there's nobody here. We actually just missed somebody, uh, a, f a new friend we had met yesterday uh, with uh, a guy. I forget the guy's name. I do apologize. <laughs> but <laughs> Not that he's going to watch this, but he, uh, but he had a, a beautiful pet named Stella. Uh, and I guess we just missed him because I, I guess he comes out here around like 6.30 or, 7, 6, 6.30 or so in the morning because that's when we caught him yesterday. And they were just walking out as we got here today. So right now it's just Murder Dog and I. Um, if you can see the sky too, it's gray again. Like yesterday was great. It was beautiful when we woke up. Not today. Today, chilly, cloudy, uh, windy. It's fucking June, man. What the hell's going on? I mean, granted, I don't want it to be super fucking hot because I don't want to have to worry about Cameron any more than I already do, but this is getting a little crazy, man. I mean, it's comfortable at night, but how the hell am I supposed to do my yoga in the morning outside? How am I supposed to be taking my solar showers? <sighs> man. Anyway, so that's uh, enough for this little video. Um, as I said in the other ones I was recording, I'm doing a couple of these because... Uh, you know, I've gotten a lot of requests for uh, outside shots and stuff like that. And like an idiot, I keep forgetting I have my camera on my phone. But although, I, as I mentioned yesterday, so for some reason, even if I, I'll check what happens after I, after I shut this one off. But every time I change the settings on this phone, somehow they revert back and the file ends up being like gigantic. The, uh, the one I recorded yesterday, one of the ones I recorded yesterday, I think it was only 20 minutes long. It ended up being a gig, <laughs> 1.3 gigs because it just automatically reverts back to the highest setting of like, you know, the uh, highest resolution and everything. So I changed it again before I recorded. Hopefully it sticks this time and it's a smaller file so I can send it quickly um, over to over to my laptop and then uh, and then work and then uh, actually post it later on or maybe tomorrow or something. But anyway, all these will come out too, um, as well as my daily vlogs, which will keep coming. So yeah, like I said, this is the beginning of week two and uh, not the greatest day, but we'll try to make the best of it. Abolitionist day out. Peace, y'all.